It's your girl T here back with the Sunday video. I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because it's what we do. We're tea timers. It's just our nature. Our affirmation of the day is our affirmations are working. They're working. They're always working. Everything around us is showing us our affirmations are working. Just boom, boom, boom. It's working. I wanted to do a video just addressing not the elephant in the room. A lot of you know that this is happening. Just getting lost in your circumstances, letting your circumstances beat you up, and then making that the reason why you think you're not getting your manifestation. I'm gonna repeat this throughout the video and it's gonna be super annoying, but when I say circumstances don't matter, I don't mean they can't affect you emotionally, they can't suck you in. I've been beat up by the 3D, even yesterday, I had a 3D beat me up. I had the 3D beating me up all day. I had to fight my thoughts, I had to fight my, in, my natural inkling to want to maybe punch someone yeah I said it I, I felt like I wanted to punch someone a little bit yesterday but I had to fight the urge and and live in my end live in my end and see past my negative circumstances because I know those are just past thoughts and feelings they're just informative they're just like oh that tells me that I have to work on that area. Oh, that's nothing. Why do I even care about that? I would ignore some of the stuff. We all fight with it. The difference, I told you guys this before, is how we react to it. I don't let those things stay with me. If I have that I wanna punch you feeling, it'll last for maybe like 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Maybe I'll vent to a friend and it'll go away. But literally, it, I won't allow it to last more than 20 minutes, half an hour. I'll go into, a, I'll listen to a meditation, a subliminal, whatever, to get out of that way. Because I know from experience that if I allow that to permeate me, that is gonna recreate in my 3D and it's also gonna ruin the rest of my day it's gonna make the rest of my day just seem like one catastrophe after the other and I can't give my power away like that and that's what you guys should be looking at you can't give your power to the 3d if you give your power to the 3d you feed your power over to the garbage dump it's gonna crush you we have to let go of these circumstances they really honestly so back to my point when I say circumstances don't matter I don't mean they're not gonna affect you they're not gonna piss you off they're not gonna make you sad or whatever react to it let those feelings out let them go have a rage sesh for half an hour just don't sit in that feeling for the rest of the day week month year because a lot of you when you're writing to me in these emails you're saying this like three page letter about why or what happened with your SP starting back like three years ago and up until this day and really there's only one or two sentences in that email that stand out to me I don't believe that I can have them I think that my manifestation isn't working that's what I get out of the whole three pages because that's the belief that you're telling yourself that's the belief that you're you're believing into and that's what's showing up in your 3d so if you have this hard-coded assumption that your affirmations aren't working your 3d is not changing that things are not shifting in your favor that's what's going to be showing up I guarantee you if you guys walked around for a week or two and just noticed everything in your environment and how great it was and said oh it's working look at how great my life is oh it's working look at how great my life is if you just replied like that to everything in your environment for a week or two your world would shift, but we are spending the majority of our time in the negative thoughts, in the negative environment of the 3D, in the negative circumstances that really, at the end of the day, only have as much power as you give it. Nothing has a meaning until it's assigned by you. So if you're assigning the meaning to everything, that that means you're not getting your manifestation, that's what'll happen. That's what it is. I find for myself, I love affirmations, they're amazing, but I also find a re another really uh, powerful method that I do is I'll just say something once or twice and let it go. It's a little bit of a slower method that I find works for me, but if it's something that I'm not really that attached to and I don't care when it shows up, I'll just say something like once or twice and drop it. Like today, I was like, oh, I'm going to make $200 in sales today at my job. And I did, but I didn't care if I made $200 in sales. It would be nice, but I just said it and I forget about it and I did. And that's the beauty of manifestation. The less resistance we have towards something, the quicker it'll come. With your circumstances, if you have all this pent up, um, if you have all this pent up, what's the word I'm trying to say? 
if you're very invested in your 3D circumstances and you think your 3D is real over what you're seeing in your 4D, that's what's going to continue to show up. You're going to get caught in the manifestation loop of hell. Because you have to put your focus as hard as it can be sometimes on what you want as opposed to what you don't want. Because when you're focusing all that attention so hard on what you don't want, it's going to make more of it. The other thing too if it's too hard for you to unfocus from what you don't want you can go general you can say everything in my life is perfect everything's always working out in my favor everything's always unfolding in my favor you can talk to your subconscious subconscious show me things that are going right for me today subconscious why is what's working out for me today show me things that are working out for me today I want to see only things that are working out for me today talk to your subconscious kick your 3D's ass to the curb and make sure that you're not letting your 3D beat you up because your 3D is irrelevant. It's like that friend that you're on the end of your relationship with and they're irrelevant to you, but you still kind of have maintained contact with them for whatever reason. Maybe your friend is great too, but every time they text you, you look at it and you're like, I'll get back to you later and you don't even think about the text for like five more days. And then you do one of those, sorry, I didn't get back to you earlier. I didn't see it. You totally saw it. They're just irrelevant in your world. World. The same as the 3D. They're that friend that's out the door soon. They're irrelevant. Kick them to the curb and forget about them. If you have questions, ask them below. I love y'all, but not as much as y'all should be loving yourselves. Have a beautiful, blessed Sunday. Bye!